What is the universe expanding into? If the universe is everything, then how can everything expand into anything else? Well, the answer is, if our universe is a bubble, a three-dimensional bubble, it means it's expanding into hyperspace, mm. a higher dimension. That's what the universe is expanding into. And who knows, maybe we'll bump into another bubble one of these days. The Hubble tension is one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in modern physics, an anomaly that challenges our very understanding of the cosmos. But what if this discrepancy isn't just an error in measurement? What if it's the first real clue that our universe isn't alone? Michio Kaku believes this could be the smoking gun for the multiverse. If he's right, we may be standing on the edge of a discovery that will shake the foundations of physics itself. Imagine a reality where multiple universes exist, influencing our own in ways we've never considered. But how can a simple disagreement in measuring cosmic expansion lead to something as mind-blowing as parallel universes? Let's find out. If you love mind-bending space theories, make sure to subscribe. We bring you the biggest cosmic discoveries every week. For decades, scientists have relied on Hubble's constant to measure the expansion rate of the universe. The problem? We have two different ways to measure it, and they don't agree. The first method looks at the cosmic microwave background, the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, using satellites like Planck. This method suggests the universe is expanding at about 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. But the second method, which relies on Cepheid variable stars and type Ia supernovae, essentially cosmic mile markers observed by the Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based telescopes, suggests a faster rate of around 73 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This contradiction is known as the Hubble tension, and it's a crisis for physics. If both measurements are correct, then something in our fundamental understanding of the universe is wrong. Could it be a flaw in how we measure cosmic distances, a new property of dark energy, or something even more groundbreaking, like a flaw in our understanding of gravity or the Big Bang itself? And this is where Michio Kaku steps in with a shocking theory. For years, Michio Kaku has been one of the strongest voices in theoretical physics, advocating for string theory and the possibility of a multiverse. But now he believes we may have found real evidence of it, hidden in the very fabric of our universe's expansion. According to Kaku, the Hubble tension isn't just a simple measurement error. It could be something far more profound, a sign that our universe is being influenced by parallel universes. If multiple universes exist, their gravitational pull could be subtly affecting how we perceive cosmic expansion, warping our measurements in ways we never expected. In other words, Hubble's constant might not be constant at all. It could be shifting due to forces beyond our own universe. This idea isn't just wild speculation. String theory, one of the most advanced models in modern physics, predicts the existence of extra dimensions and parallel realities. Some versions of the theory even suggest that adjacent universes could exert a slight gravitational tug on each other. If Kaku is right, then the Hubble tension might not be a problem with our measurements. It might be the first observational proof that we are part of a much larger cosmic landscape. But before we jump to conclusions, let's see how the scientific community is reacting to this theory. Not everyone is convinced by Michio Kaku's theory. In fact, many physicists argue that the Hubble tension has a far more mundane explanation. Some suggest that the discrepancy comes from instrumental errors, a miscalibration in how we measure distances across the cosmos. Others believe that we're simply missing an unknown cosmic factor, something within our own universe that subtly alters our measurements. But if the Hubble tension is real and not just an observational glitch, What's causing it? One alternative explanation is that dark energy, the mysterious force driving the universe's acceleration, might have properties we don't yet understand. Another theory suggests that Einstein's theory of general relativity might need revision, that the laws of physics as we know them are incomplete. Some researchers even propose a fifth fundamental force, something beyond gravity, electromagnetism, and nuclear forces that could be affecting the way galaxies move. Others speculate about an undiscovered particle, one that interacts with light in ways we haven't accounted for, skewing our perception of cosmic expansion. As intriguing as Kaku's multiverse theory is, many scientists remain skeptical because there's no direct way to test it. Yet, the multiverse remains in the realm of theoretical physics, 
And while it could explain the Hubble tension, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. But what if we could actually prove it? What if there were a way to detect the influence of parallel universes? So if Hubble tension is real and Kaku's theory holds, how can we actually prove the multiverse? Right now, the multiverse remains a theoretical concept, a fascinating idea, but without solid proof. However, could we actually find real scientific evidence that parallel universes exist? Some physicists believe that new technology and upcoming experiments might hold the answer. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is already refining our measurements of cosmic expansion with greater precision than ever before. If something beyond our universe is subtly distorting space-time, JWST could detect unexpected anomalies, tiny deviations in how galaxies move that hint at hidden cosmic influences. Then, there are next-generation dark energy surveys. These massive projects aim to map the universe's large-scale structure in greater detail. If parallel universes exist, their gravitational pull might create strange, unexplained distortions in how galaxies are distributed across space. But perhaps the most exciting possibility comes from gravitational wave studies. Scientists have already detected ripples in space-time caused by colliding black holes. But what if some of these waves aren't from objects in our universe at all? If parallel universes exert any force on ours, they could create subtle but detectable gravitational signatures giving us our first real glimpse into the multiverse. If Kaku is right, this would be one of the biggest breakthroughs in history. It could explain dark matter, help us understand quantum mechanics, and even offer clues about the nature of consciousness itself. But if the multiverse is real, then what comes next? If the multiverse is real, it would be one of the biggest discoveries in human history. A revelation that would rewrite the laws of physics and challenge everything we know about the cosmos. It wouldn't just be a scientific breakthrough. It would be a philosophical and existential bombshell. For centuries, we've asked whether we are alone in the universe. But what if we've been asking the wrong question? What if we are just one of infinite realities, each with its own version of existence? This discovery would raise profound questions. Could we ever contact another universe? If parallel worlds exist, is it possible that advanced civilizations have already figured out how to communicate or even travel between them? And if so, could they be aware of us? Beyond physics, this would impact philosophy, religion, and our understanding of life itself. Every major scientific revolution, heliocentrism, relativity, quantum mechanics, has forced us to rethink our place in the cosmos. But the multiverse? That would mean our entire reality is just one of countless possibilities. It could even hold the key to unlocking new technologies, new physics, and new ways of thinking about the universe. And if that's true, then we must ask the biggest question of all. If the multiverse exists, is someone else out there watching us? While the idea of the multiverse is exciting, not all scientists are convinced. Some argue that it might not even be real science. Why? For a theory to be considered scientific, it needs to be testable and falsifiable meaning there must be a way to prove it wrong. But if parallel universes are forever out of our reach, how can we ever confirm or disprove their existence? Some physicists believe the Hubble tension can be explained without invoking other universes. One possibility is that our measurements are slightly flawed, meaning the discrepancy isn't a deep cosmic mystery, it's just a limitation of our instruments. Others suggest that a new property of dark energy could be influencing cosmic expansion in a way we don't yet understand. Then there's the argument that the multiverse is more of a philosophical idea than a scientific one. If we can't interact with other universes, does it really matter if they exist? Could we just be creating theoretical constructs to explain the unknown instead of focusing on problems we can actually solve? But if the multiverse is real, the biggest question isn't just whether we can prove it, it's what comes next. If the multiverse exists, could we ever visit another universe? Right now, it sounds like pure science fiction, but some theoretical physics models suggest it might not be impossible. One idea comes from wormholes, hypothetical tunnels in space-time that could connect distant parts of the universe or even bridge the gap between universes. If wormholes exist and could be stabilized, they might serve as gateways to parallel realities. 
Some physicists believe that black holes could contain such hidden passages, though we have no way of testing this yet. Another possibility comes from quantum mechanics. The many worlds interpretation suggests that new universes branch off from every quantum decision, meaning that in some sense, we might be constantly shifting between parallel versions of reality. Could we ever learn to control this process and deliberately jump between universes? And if this is possible, then we have to ask, could someone or something from another universe have already figured it out? If an advanced civilization had mastered inter-universal travel, would we even recognize their presence? Some scientists speculate that UFOs or strange anomalies in physics could be signs of an intelligence that isn't just extraterrestrial, but extra-universal. If that's the case, then the real question isn't whether we can travel to another universe. It's whether someone from another universe has already found us. If the multiverse is real, it wouldn't just be a scientific breakthrough, it would be a paradigm shift that changes everything. Physics, technology, and even our understanding of reality itself would be redefined. But how would this discovery shape the future of science? For one, proving the existence of parallel universes could unlock entirely new fields of research. Could we one day harness energy from other universes? Some physicists believe that if universes interact through gravity, then in theory, we might learn to tap into that energy, providing limitless power beyond anything we've ever imagined. Then there's quantum mechanics. Right now, it's one of the most mysterious fields in physics, filled with bizarre phenomena like quantum entanglement, where particles influence each other across vast distances. If the multiverse exists, could it explain why quantum particles behave the way they do? Could we use this knowledge to create revolutionary new technologies, such as multiversal computing, advanced AI, or even reality manipulation? But the biggest impact might be philosophical. If there are infinite versions of reality, then what does that mean for our place in the cosmos? Are we truly unique, or are there countless versions of us living slightly different lives in parallel worlds? And if that's true, then we have to wonder, what if we're already seeing the signs? If the multiverse is real, then we might not have to wait for futuristic experiments to prove it. We may have already seen the signs. Over the years, scientists have discovered bizarre anomalies in the universe that don't quite fit within our current models. Some physicists believe these could be glitches caused by interactions with parallel universes. One of the strangest anomalies is the cold spot in the cosmic microwave background, CMB. The CMB is the afterglow of the Big Bang, a nearly uniform radiation that fills the entire universe. But there's one region, much colder than the rest, that has puzzled cosmologists for years. Some believe it's a statistical fluke, but others think it could be something far more dramatic. A collision between our universe and another one in the distant past. If true, this would be the first direct evidence of the multiverse. Then there are quantum anomalies. Some experiments in quantum mechanics have suggested that particles behave as if they're influenced by hidden variables, something outside of our observable reality. Could it be that these particles are interacting with alternate versions of themselves in parallel universes? And what about the mysteries of dark matter and dark energy? Together, they make up 95% of the universe yet we can't see or directly detect them. Some theories propose that dark matter could actually be the gravitational influence of mass in another universe bleeding into ours. If this is true, then the evidence of the multiverse isn't just theoretical, it's all around us. But if that's the case, then we have to ask, what kind of reality are we actually living in? What if the multiverse isn't just a collection of parallel worlds, but a vast simulated system some scientists and philosophers have suggested that our entire reality could be a highly advanced simulation, and the multiverse might just be different layers of this cosmic program. The idea comes from digital physics, which suggests that the universe behaves suspiciously like a computer simulation. At the smallest scales, the fabric of reality appears to be pixelated, as if it were built from tiny bits of information. Even the fundamental laws of physics seem to resemble the rules of a computer algorithm. If our universe is one of many, could they all be running on a higher dimensional processor? 
Some theorists believe that what we call the multiverse might just be multiple simulations running in parallel. Advanced civilizations or even unknown entities could be running and tweaking different versions of reality. And here's the most mind-bending part. If we are in a simulation, could there be glitches or errors in the code? Some researchers have proposed that strange quantum behaviors, like particles popping in and out of existence, could be evidence that our universe is being rendered in real time. If true, then the multiverse isn't just about parallel worlds. It's about who or what is running the system. And that leads to the ultimate question. Are we real or are we just simulations inside someone else's experiment? What do you think? Could the Hubble tension be the first real clue that the multiverse exists? Or is there another explanation we haven't considered yet? Let us know in the comments. Your theories might be closer to the truth than you think. And if you love space mysteries and groundbreaking discoveries, make sure to subscribe. We bring you the most mind-blowing content every week, exploring the deepest secrets of the universe. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss the next big revelation. Because if the multiverse is real, who knows what we might discover next? Discover next.